I don't even know who anyone who still plays Hyper Fighting. We've got Third Strike, etc. Speaking of two, though, we're going to go to game two with oh Double Rob versus what? Two Children Team. All right. So we're going to see uh, Hugh and Extra O versus PSG Gutbuster and Apollo. All right, so already uh, a bit of stage dominance from the Robs here, but they're not setting up too crazy with projectiles. Yeah, no, this is, this is a scary team, man. Imagine just being, because look what they're trying to do. They're, they're trying to just distance themselves to the point where they can just juggle them. And right now they both, oh my god, mm -hmm. there's so and many multi-hits here. See, the thing is, right, I feel like Squirtle is a decent choice here, but uh, Squirtle, although he's fast, is very short-limbed, which could be a problem. But Rob, one of the biggest weaknesses right now is um, all of his attacks have a little bit of a delay, but that's really hard to keep track of when there's two of them on the screen, and you have <laughs> yeah. to keep track of your teammate. You know, so. like, one of the best double teams is, like, two characters, like, two of the same characters, right? Mm -hmm. Because they literally cover each, other, uh, uh, cover each other's weaknesses. Yes. They know when they're going to have any lag in their moves. Great, that was back, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely back. Yep, he uh, blasted them off stage. Rob has no time for children. Doesn't matter if he's a kid's toy or not, he's sending them away. <laughs> All right, got them both over on the edge there. This will give him a little bit of time to zone. And I do like the idea of Razor Leaf with Ivysaur. I think that would be a really strong tool in the matchup here. Yeah, no, for sure. You have to kind of just keep him, you have to like keep them away, but also Ooh, he close the distance. He, he comboed him into his teammate's Lloyd Rocket. Ooh, great edge guard by yeah. Gutbuster. Not going to do it just yet. Yep. And, and he's using these bowling balls very, very carefully, too. Yep. Uh, so uh, Apollo was doing a really good job there of keeping uh, Gutbuster covered because he was recovering with such a vulnerable upbeat. No hitbox on that. Very easy to hit out of the air. And you extend your hitboxes on the balloon, so even a greater chance to take him out. Uh, side B, that will kill. Yeah, no, side B at the ledges one is one of Rob's strongest moves. And a lot of people just don't know how to deal with it, you know? You know because it covers so much. Yes, it covers so much. Not only that, although I don't know that there's any straight confirms of it, there's a lot of traps into it. And um, and lower percents, especially with characters with not great punishes, uh, Gutbuster just kind of taking the ride down. I don't know if he didn't have a jump or if he just didn't make it back. That looked like he could have gotten out of hit stun in time, but it I'm not sure. It was unfortunate, but I do like the fact that Olive actually just saved his partner and just did completely ignored the region. Yep. Oh, okay. Nice set up there. I thought he was going to go into the Lloyd Rock. All right, still setting up the tree at the ledge. Good thing to have there. Does extend hitboxes and hurt boxes, but that works for both teams. Yeah, that could be really has deadly. Not landed. No, he's <laughs> trying. Like minutes, he's doing bro. his darndest to get back. All right, so the Charizard come out. Oh my god, it's an absolute scramble over the ledge. All right, we got the bowling ball. Right back here to see the sod. No, Can no he all Rob's. Rob can land him there, and mm -hmm. if he re if he does retreat it, it is completely safe. So I'm, I'm I'm glad that he did he did choose that option because he's still alive because of it. Yes. And now I mean this game isn't necessarily not this game isn't undoable, you know? It's uh, a little one sided right now, but it's absolutely oh not undoable. Oh my God! Watch the ball. Uh, Watch yep. the ball. He's Watch got the, ball. the bowling ball. He bowls twice and gets a zero both times. That's uh, God. It's, it's not gutter. 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 It's not a strike. That's you'll, you'll get there. strikes are you'll, good. You'll get there. All right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'd still say it's very doable, especially with the Charizard right. Ooh, oh my god, that yeah, should have been death on both right? sides. Up smash from both sides would have done it. And we do see Gutbuster trying to utilize the, uh, that was a good the villager's chase. down smash to like, you know, to, to bury him, to kind of see the stock really quickly, but oh my god. Yep, so this is a bit difficult to come by, okay. He's gonna kill him, he's gonna kill him. Uh, oh, that's no, he gets his own! That's a lot, that's a lot going on right now. We got uh, some right. Robicide going on, and the boy is gone. That's a lot. Send him home. Get his mom here in the minivan. Now the thing is, if you are Billy's you know, your recovery is pretty telegraphed. You're gonna, yes. you're gonna use the balloons and you're gonna fly up, right? Mm -hmm. That recovery, because it doesn't really have a hitbox, can kind of just be spiked by Rob's massive down mm -hmm. And we did see that a lot of times they did try it, but unfortunately it didn't work out. Um, I think that just a, a little adaptation uh, that uh, extra O and uh, his partner um, needs to make. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I do think that yeah, that, <laughs> that one stock uh, lost to the blast zone there from Gutbuster was unfortunate. I feel like if that hadn't happened, they would have had a lot more of a fighting chance on that. But uh, we'll see going forward. I also thought um, Gutbuster was kind of willing to sit across the stage while uh, his friend had to deal with the robot uprising with the Robs pummeling him over there. So not to, say, not, to, not to say that the zoning can't help out, especially when you got overlords, robot overlords coming in. But um, he might need to take a more proactive approach in trying to uh, watch his teammates back here if he wants to keep the damage off. 
you know, and we do see that extra always a bit. It's kind of, he's kind of like the more aggressive Rob, you know, while mm -hmm. Hugh just kind of just like chills back and, and he's the more campy projectile ish Rob. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they do well at covering each other. And yes. one thing that I would like Apollo to do is kind of just use Squirtle's mobility to like. To, 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 to kind of like perform this 2v1 while Villager covers him with projectiles, you know? Like he's doing now. Great coverage on you. Immediately goes back to save his teammate. Doesn't yep. need to. Great bowling ball. Yes, exactly. Gutbuster doing a good job. Not going to keep to the ledge the entire game like before. He says, nah, I don't want to play in disadvantage all game. I want to play Smash Brothers. And we see uh, Hugh just going for that arm rotor, the Rob Tornado, uh, quite often. Trying to get an early kill on here, but not finding it on Gutbuster. He's weaving his way around that. Yeah, no, I mean, there's no reason, I mean, there's no reason not to when they're not doing anything about it. All Smash is not going to do it just yet. And, and we do see a kind of switch right now. Actually, some people might not know. Uh, oh, the double kill! Jeez! So, the up smash... That's one way to take stocks, bro. Yeah, that's one way to take stocks. That's one way to upset someone. I'm sorry. Both of the boys are gone at once. <laughs> um, so, Gutbuster setting up on the ledge once again. Ford Smash not finding its mark. Okay. All right. Olive, great coverage, trying to, trying to save his I feel like I feel like so much of this matchup has been played at the ledge. Like, it's so very important because uh, Villager in general and Gutbuster seems to be comfortable by the ledge. Uh, but Rob has very, very nice disadvantage for the cast, relatively speaking. Um, so both Rob's can play off stage, Villager can play off stage. It's only really uh, Apollo's Pokemon trainer that might have some difficulty with it. Uh, speaking of difficulty, it's difficulty yeah, right. dealing with the arm rotor, man. And they're, they're getting caught by the side beat a lot. I mean, it is it is huge, so it is it, it's pretty difficult to to not get hit with that. Mm -hmm. But that's something that they do need to be worried uh, need to be worried about. If they understand that their opponent is spamming a move, wait it out. You know, just like that, yes. with a great punish. And now and now. Uh, Hugh is off stage, but he is Sockter. Yes, and I was going to say, you might have noticed it just there with Gutbuster's tree, but for those who don't know, Rob's arm rotor actually has a reflector on it, so that's better in this matchup than you might think. Reflects any opportunity for projectiles to come out and cancel the but move. But can it pay your taxes like Ivysaur's down air? Oh, darn right, man. Let me tell you, if there's anything that's going to bring you down in this world, it's Ivysaur's down air. <laughs> All right. All right. Keeping them out. Ooh, this is looking a lot better this time. Oh, he's not going to do it. I didn't say I'm so sorry. Uh, Charizard not quite able to make it back. Gutbuster and Olive actually have. Oh my god, he saved him! You saw that, right? that you saved saw him! I thought, I thought um, when you get hit by a strong move, if you're hit by a weaker move, that that only influences the launch angle. That doesn't stop completely, but maybe he just hit him early on enough. That was crazy. Welcome to Smash Logic, my man. <laughs> okay, right now. Ooh! You right. threw it. Uh, Our rotor? Oh, to f no! It's so hard to DI because you, you don't really like know where you're gonna get sent, you know? I, yes. I think I wanna say that Rob can can mix it up in terms of where, um, where you're gonna he, get he's sent. Gonna, I, he's I'm gonna send sure. you over towards the blast zone. Typically. I'm not sure. Um, it sends pretty much straight out, which is why it's such a good kill move, horizontal. Uh, yes, that will do it. All right. Yeah, up air's gonna do it, man. Chases with the up air. Another thing, uh, arm rotor, up air, very active multi-hit move. So, again, like you said, not only are they big, but they're out there for a long time, and if you don't have the hitboxes to contest, they can be very difficult to dodge. And that's but, a great thing for Dells because of that. Yes, yeah, so he tries to actually throw out a nair there and gets caught on the ending frames. So that's unfortunate. But uh, very well played by a Team Rob, two robots. No, they did, they did. I mean, you have to understand, like, it's, imagine being the team of Apollo and Gutbuster. Like, how do you, how do you deal with that? You know, like, and they go to, to uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, which does have platforms, which yes. Rob can definitely work well on, you know? Now, I